Welcome to our lesson about working with an assembly sketch. Let's start by creating an assembly document. And cancel out of the Begin Assembly Property Manager. Let's save using the default name. At the assembly level, we can create a sketch or we can create a layout sketch. The layout sketch, as you may remember, is a 3D sketch. You can only create one layout sketch per assembly. As you may remember, some of the tools that we normally use for sketching are not available in the layout environment. For more information about how the layout sketch works, please see our tutorial on this topic elsewhere in this library. For this lesson, we're going to work with a regular two-dimensional sketch. We're on the Sketch tab now. Right-click on the top plane, Insert Sketch. Let's take a normal two view. And I'll drop a rectangle here. Activate the centerline command. Place it corner to corner. And right click and select to close the tool. Now select the origin point and control select my line. Apply a midpoint relation. Let's apply dimensions now. The length will be 200 millimeters. Accept. And this side will be 120 millimeters. Accept. Now let's activate the Sketch Fillet command. Select all four corners. Let's make our radius 15 millimeters. And let's keep the Keep Constrained Corners option checked. Let's accept. Now I'm going to place six construction circles. Here's my first. Check for construction. Next circle. Again, for construction. Number three, for construction. Here's the fourth, for construction. Two more circles here, and accept. Now I'll control select these two points and the origin point and add a vertical relation. Remember, the long arrow in the graphic area indicates the vertical direction, and the short arrow indicates the horizontal direction. Let's click in blank space in the graphic area to unselect everything. Select these two points and add a horizontal relation. These two points, a horizontal relation as well. Next, I'll control select these two circles and add an equal relation. I forgot to convert these two last circles to construction geometry. I'll do that now. Now I'll activate the Line tool. I'll touch the circle, press the left mouse button down, hold it and drag it. When the point and the coincident relation appear at the circle's edge, release the mouse button. And let's do this a few more times. Hold down the left mouse button, drag, Release when you get to the second point on this side. And last one here. Right click and select to close the tool. Now I'm going to activate the center point arc command. Here's my first arc. Second one here. Now my third arc, number four, here's the fifth, and last arc right here. Right click and select to close the tool. Let's exit the sketch now. Take an isometric view. And let's save our work. This concludes our first tutorial about working with an assembly sketch.